everybody, welcome back to Space Flight Simulator. So, we are doing part two of the Jupiter mission today. So, if you don't remember last time, we launched this rocket here to the orbit of Jupiter. So, this is Jupiter, this yellow dot. And then this had two landers on it, one here and one here, which one of them went to Io, and that one is still here. And it only has 12% fuel. And then the other one went to Europa. And that one is also still here. Okay, so we have one lander on Europa, one lander on Io, and then a mothership here, all with not enough fuel. So today we're gonna make a rescue mission and we're gonna go save them and hopefully bring them back to safety on Earth because there are technically astronauts in here. I mean, there's no astronauts in the game, but you know what I mean. So let's build a rocket. Okay, so this is kind of what we used last time to get the landers to Jupiter. And I think we're gonna need something even bigger. So I'm actually gonna start completely from scratch. So since this is just a rescue mission, we don't actually need a human pod. We just need a probe to go refuel certain things. Okay, so this like pill shaped thing. So here's my idea. We take two of these that I just made one of them goes into orbit around Io and one around Europa. And then I think we have enough in our landers just to launch them into orbit. And then hopefully we can get these to dock. So if we get two of these to go and then we need to get these back to our mothership. And then we could use because these have a lot of fuel and then use the fuel that's in them to refuel that mothership and bring the astronauts home, I think. Let's get some color on them. Okay, so we're gonna have the orange team and the white team. The orange team is going to Io and the white team is going to Europa because that's the closest color to match each planet. So now we just need to get these two things to Jupiter without using any of their fuel. Okay, here it is. This might actually be the biggest rocket that I've ever built in Space Flight Simulator. I just wanted to be completely sure that we will be able to rescue these landers. So it's a very big rocket. Let's stage it up and then we can go. Okay, here we are, the biggest rocket I have ever built. And let's, let's go for it. Okay, it takes off, which is actually surprising. I don't know, I hope that these all run out in the order I want them to, so that we don't waste any fuel. It's so skinny right here at the top. If this was real, this would totally break off. It's one docking port that's holding the entire top of the rocket on. Okay, first stage, good. Yes, looking good. So it looks like we might have to stop using so much on these. Uh, it looks like it's still gonna run out first. Bad rocket is, I always do this. There has to be a way to like calculate it. Are we still positive? No, we're not. So we're gonna have to break this off anyway. Don't hit our rocket. Oh, that was close. Okay. Okay, we're still accelerating, so we're good. How high are we? We're getting there. Going good so far. Okay, it looks like this stage will push us barely into space. Or maybe not. Next stage, go. Okay, getting into space now. So this stage has to get us into orbit, and then this stage push us to Jupiter. Hopefully. We will see on that. <laughs> and boom. Okay. Made it to low earth orbit with this massive rocket. Okay. So we're going to use every bit of fuel we can. So we're still going to use the 10% that's in here plus what's in here to get us to Jupiter. And if we absolutely need to, we can use some of the fuel in here because these are going to have a lot. Okay. So now we're going to zoom out and locate Jupiter. Where is that? Right here and click navigate to. So we're actually going to have to wait for earth. Earth is already in a transfer window, probably from our last mission still. So now we just have to time warp to the transfer window around the Earth. Right there. Okay, we have a lot of speeding up we gotta do. Let's start by rotating our rocket. And we're gonna pretty quickly use the rest of what's in this stage. I over-rotated a little bit. Okay, add on that stage. Activate our main interplanetary stage. So it's actually best if you wait for your orbit to kind of get pretty big on Earth and then wait for you to go around again so you don't end up not making, like see, I'm missing this transfer window already. So I'm gonna let my orbit grow a little bit, probably there, and then we'll do another time warp. Cause these orbits, they are efficient, but they don't have a ton of thrust. So it takes a while for us to get up to speed. Okay, I think this stage actually will do exactly what I intended it to do. Cause we still have half of our fuel left and we are, I mean, we only have, I think, I think we'll be good. We might have to use some of this stage here to slow down once we get to Jupiter. But for now, I think we're gonna be okay. Okay, here we go, we're getting close now. Okay, so once it says zero, that means we have an encounter with Jupiter. So you can see our orbit, wow, it stretches really far. Okay, so here's our encounter. 
and we're gonna use our RCS to position our encounter to be closer to Jupiter. So, um, let's just kind of get into a similar orbit as our mothership. So, I'm thinking about here. Okay, so now we're on our way to Jupiter. So we're just going to time warp ourselves towards Jupiter, um, probably about here, so that we can start to slow down a little bit. And here we go. Okay, so we just left the Earth, and we're on our way to the outer solar system. This is where the asteroid belt would be if it were in the, if it were in the game, but it's not. So you can see there's Jupiter, and we're kind of curving around the Sun, and we're gonna get pretty close to it. Here we go. And boom. Okay, so now we're in the Jupiter system. So we're gonna aim retrograde now, away from where we're going, and then just start burning until we get into an orbit. So we're actually gonna have to use some of our rescuer engine. Break that off, we don't need that. Hopefully we have enough fuel. Okay, we're in orbit now. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Ah, uh, the closer you get, it goes slower and slower. So you, you actually do, you have to use a lot of fuel to slow down. I'm hoping we have enough for this mission. That rocket was so big, we have to, come on. Are we gonna have to end up splitting our fuel? Okay, once we kind of get around Europa, I'm gonna cut it because maybe we can use our elliptical orbit to try to encounter these other moons. Okay, so right about here, I'm gonna cut the engine. Okay, so we have 97% fuel in the white one and then 20% fuel in the orange one. This is getting stressful. We need to rescue the landers. So Team White goes to Europa. So let's undock. Ooh. And then Europa navigate too. Yes, so we did, I did do it right. Cause now we only have to go an extra 65 meters per second to encounter Europa. So we're gonna have to not hit the orange one. Aim sort of like this. And then accelerate 65 meters per second. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay, bye orange one, we'll come back for you later. Okay, zero. That means we have an encounter, so then we're gonna use our RCS to try to get it as close as possible without hitting it. Because we want it to be in orbit. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to time warp to about here. And the orange one will just stay kind of in orbit around. Hopefully it doesn't end up hitting anything. Okay, I think we're good. And then we're gonna turn around and aim retrograde and get ourselves into orbit around Europa. It's very big and heavy, it's hard to turn. <laughs> and go, full throttle to try to slow us down enough to get into orbit. Uh-oh, we might not be slowing down fast enough. Oh no. Okay, come on. Come on. Slow down faster! Get the curve going! Come on! Okay, it's starting to move more. Hopefully we can get this to kind of curve around. We have to use so much fuel for this. And curve. Come on. Yes. Yes. Okay, it's going. And curve around. Okay. Now that it, we have an orbit, we're going to warp to the lowest point right here and then start to shrink it so we can get the orbit smaller. And that'll help us because our lander still has a little bit of fuel left. So we're trying to get it to dock with it. Okay, that should be good. Turn off RCS. We're kind of in the atmosphere. Okay, there it is. You can see Europa. And here's our rescue pod. Okay, so now we're going to switch to the lander. 11%. We need to get this thing into orbit with 11% fuel left. Is it possible? I mean, I guess we're going to try. Let's go. Any orbit at all works. Right there. Cut. Okay. And then we want to warp to the top of this. We can't warp above. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we have to. Okay. So once our rocket gets to this point, we need to boost sideways. Wait, we got 5% fuel left. I think it'll work. We just need to get it into orbit. Please, please work. Okay, right. Here. Go. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> This is so stressful. Okay, we got 3.5% of our fuel left. It's now in orbit. The orbit's a little wonky, but we're gonna have to work with that. Okay, navigate two. We gotta warp to that transfer window. We can't, we can't have time warp because we're so close to the surface. It won't let us time warp. Right there, okay, that's perfect. Cause you can see our track's gonna go outside now. Okay, we only have to accelerate eight, perfect. 
RCS, let's get it. Okay, they're gonna line up really close right here. So time warp here and see if we can get this. Hey, they're about to meet up. Focus. Don't hit, don't hit. Track. Okay, uh oh, uh oh. Speed up, speed up. No, wrong way, no. Okay, this is our rocket here. So I'm the one controlling this one and we're trying to meet them up now. Okay, that's looking better. Okay, we're going too fast this way. Okay, we're on our way to it now. Okay, side velocity, we want zero. Velocity, start slowing down. 300 meters away, there it is, you can see it. The top of the screen. We're going very slowly towards it now, which is perfect. And we still have 42% of our fuel. Okay, here we go. Ready for the docking. Okay, so now I'm gonna start rotating so we can get this docking thing done. Come on, dock. Yes! Okay. Europa Lander successfully is now in orbit with fuel. Now we just have to do the same thing with the other one, right? We may have made a critical error. I forgot that this one only had 20% of its fuel left. I do not think that's enough because how much did we use on the Europa mission? Yeah, this has 42%. Okay, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to get, for right now, we're gonna try to get this back to the mothership. And then we can refuel. Then we just have to get the mothership and the orange one to dock. And then we can get that last lander, I think. We're gonna go for that. Okay, so now we need to get this thing back to the mothership. Okay, it's telling us to wait for this transfer window. Okay, and how is that transfer window? Let's check it out. Hopefully, oh, Jupiter mission, this is super hard. 724, okay. Let's go for it. Okay, I have an idea of how we could get the docking better, but this is going to sacrifice the orange team. We're gonna have to send another rocket to get Okay, I do have a plan. You guys will see the plan. Okay. We're gonna need to use RCS here. So, my plan is, since we only have 23% of fuel left, I do not think that's enough to slow down once we get next to our mothership. So we're gonna transfer all of the fuel in here to our lander. Then we're gonna only use the lander and leave this white thing behind. Because you can see that's going to fill up our lander quite a bit. And this is going to be a lot easier to slow down. 100%. Okay, perfect. So we're actually going to break off now. And we're only using the lander now. That now is 100% fuel to try to slow down right before the rendezvous point right here. Okay, let's time warp. Hold on. Hold. Wait. Save. If we don't touch anything, we will encounter Io. We're using a gravity assist. Okay, so theoretically, we could do nothing right here. And then once we get to IO, slow down and then rescue our other lander and have them dock to each other. That's a risky plan, but we're gonna try it. Okay, so let's use my RCS to try to position ourselves to get a little bit closer on this. Actually, if we can use our actual booster, that's gonna be more efficient. Yes, here we go, okay. We're gonna want this to be closer. This is a crazy plan. I have no idea if it's gonna work. We're out of options at this point. We're going for it. Okay, right about here. We're gonna wanna start slowing down. So this is the other lander we're trying to rescue and we're using the first lander now and we're gonna try to slow down and dock them together. Oh, okay. I hope we have enough fuel for this. Come on, start. Start getting into orbit, we're running out of fuel. Okay, perfect. Yep, starting to get into orbit. Drop down, okay. Okay, we're gonna want it to be right here. And then we're gonna get our orbit even lower. So we have a really low orbit on IO. Okay, low IO orbit, perfect. Okay, we have 14% on this lander, 12% on this lander. I think that's enough. Okay, which way, which direction is our thing? going. Okay, so we're going to want to take off and launch to the left. Here we go. And start immediately going this way. Right about there. Okay, how high is this orbit? 
Okay, 5,000. Okay, we can work with that. So now we're going to time warp to the top. Oh, we can't time warp, it's so low. You can see there's IO that we're leaving, attempting to dock these together. Okay, then right about here, we're gonna wanna circularize our orbit. Perfect, okay, 2.4% left in this lander. This lander still got 12%. 14%, perfect, that, yeah, we'll be good. So we just need to dock these together. Whew. <laughs> Oh, these landers. The things I do for these landers. Okay, let's get our transfer window. Okay, 45 meters per second faster. We can do that. Okay, so they're gonna get really close to each other. Ooh, okay, our relative velocity is gonna be pretty high. You can see how big this is gonna be. We're gonna have to deal with it though. Here we go. Ugh. So many things can go wrong at so many times. Track. Relative velocity, we want this to start going down. Perfect. Okay, side velocity, we want this to be zero. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, we can zoom out, maybe see it, not yet. You can see IO, there it is still. Wow. And this is our distance to our object. We're gonna wait a little bit and then we'll start to slow down once we can kind of start to see it. There it is, that little dot. Okay, we're gonna start to slow down. Perfect. Okay, here it comes. Here we go. Doc. Yes, okay. The landers are safe in orbit now. Now we just need to figure out how to get them to the mothership, because the mothership we also need to save. All right, so I decided to break this video up into two parts just because there's so many things that I did, but part two is already recorded and it will come out two days from now. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you next time.